arts. I went to art school when I was younger in my in my mid twenties, mid late twenties. Through life, I just wasn't able to finish my art degree. I ended up doing um, assistant work of some form or another, anything from you know assistant to paralegal for like twenty five years, uh, and you know help help raise my son, pay the bills, whatever. Um, Singing has always been a secret love of mine. I've been singing for as long as I can remember, but like to myself and in the car and never professionally. Um, I started writing poetry in junior high and, um, um, but writing um, more than, more than singing, writing has, has always been like a, like my love. I lost my father when I was um, 17 to cancer. And then in 2007, my aunt JJ, who was more like a big sister to me, she died very suddenly. Um, and it was at that time that I sat down with pen and paper and just within a few minutes, I wrote this poem called Broken Moon. And it, it wasn't until 18 months later when my brother committed suicide, um, I looked back at that poem and I was like, wow, this is you know, the beginning is about my brother and the middle is about my father and the end is about my aunt. And it was still a poem. Um, and then after a time, I would take it out and read it. A melody kind of got in my head. And after a while, I was like, wow, I think this is a song, but not being a professional musician. Um, I just kind of sat with it. I was just like, well, this might be a song, but who knows? And then it was a uh, flash forward years later and um, Sandy Hook the Sandy Hook massacre happened and it, you know, really shook our country. We had had school shootings previously, but, um, but not on that magnitude. And I, as I've mentioned before, I thought that that was really going to change everything that gu gun laws for sure were going to drastically change, especially the, the assault weapons. Those would be banned, you know, everything was going to change. And then Sandy Hook kind of went in the rearview mirror and we kept, ha and then the mass shootings kept escalating and then Parkland happened. And by that point, um, you know, almost 10 years had passed since my brother died. And, you know, with, with his death and it was through gun violence, he shot himself. Um, and the fact that our government, our leaders were just sitting by and just letting it happen, continue to happen. Nothing really of any significance was being done. I, I don't, I, I think it's just fate, but I, I looked at my song again and I was so fed up and frustrated and honestly terrified at that point, I was starting to really be fearful of sending my son to school each day. It was really terrifying me and it was awful to see what he and his, his generation were going through with the active shooter drills and especially with my son being on the autism spectrum and how sensitive he is. Um, you know, it, it was getting to the point where he, he told me that he's, he's afraid to leave the house. He's afraid to go to the store or go to a theater or go to school or anywhere. He's like, cause mom, I might not make it home. Losing your brother, the way that, that things happen, it's totally part of gun violence. It's actually the higher number uh, that affects our country in terms of gun violence, suicide, yeah. Uh, yeah. depression. Like there is a lot of things behind that that some people don't consider part of gun violence and they get away with those arguments, but we're not letting them get away with those arguments. Go ahead. And we want to know from you, your background also, because you had a big challenge here, which is uh, creating a video out of that beautiful song. Yes, yes. Um... Well, you know, it, it, it felt very much when I met Kat, like we had known each other for a long time because she just has that kind of spirit. You know what I mean? Kat is very amicable and just a lovely person overall. Um, but we actually did meet because of Lisa. Um, Lisa's a mutual friend of ours. Um, I used to teach her children. We started talking about a video, uh, Kat and I did. And uh, it was a really, Kat had a really beautiful vision for all of it. Um, in fact, she was you know, we were talking about filming it in Arizona um, in March uh, and uh, February and March and then COVID hit. And so at that point we couldn't really launch and do anything because we had no idea it was going to happen. So we kind of waited to see for a while because we weren't sure what was going to happen. And eventually um, I, I remember Kat feeling a little bummed and just kind of well, you know, I, I just need to get my song out there. And so she asked me, can, can we 
use the storyboard and just do a slideshow, like a colored slideshow. And, and I remember thinking, no, that song deserves way more than that. Um, it's way too beautiful of a song. And I'm like, maybe there's something we can do that's more localized. And so we kind of brainstormed um, a little bit of what we could do from her house. And I de designed a new storyboard um, that took place uh, within her home. How do we do this with no camera crew <laughs> and with no producer really? And the answer was, well, we kind of split, you know, Kat and her mom basically took on everything from, and I would direct from Arizona online and try to direct them. They would send me the shots and I would look them over and decide, no, we need to take a different one or we need to do a little more. Um, and I think we spent at least three days, maybe four total um, of shooting. Uh, and we were able to get what we needed. And I was just so riddled with anxiety. And so while we were filming, I taped Joaquin's picture up in my bathroom mirror with my brothers. And when I'd have to be nervous and I'm getting ready and I would just be like, okay, boys, <laughs> I need you to be here, calm me down, have a beer with me, uh, you know, talk to me, get me through this, go, go talk to your parents, hug them too, you know, and, and I still do. It's like, I feel like uh, Joaquin has become a good friend of mine and I know that he is with my brother. They probably have a lot to talk about musically. Even, even if you haven't yourself, suffered a loss such as you and I have you know um you don't have to you don't have to like I lost my brother but I haven't lost my child I don't want to lose my child ever um I don't want to outlive my child so I want to fight I want to do whatever I can I want to get over whatever kind of fear and you know get out of my own way and get put the fear aside and be like you know what i don't need to wait to have that happen to my son i want to do something anything to make this better 